The Obama administration recently announced with great fanfare that they had destroyed a major al-Qaeda training camp in Afghanistan, uh, which sounds like good news, <laughs> uh, except for one problem. There yeah. were no major al-Qaeda yeah. al uh, training camps <clears throat> in Afghanistan when they came to office. So we see al-Qaeda making a comeback in the land where they plant launched 9-11. ISIS is moving in. There yeah. was a story in the Washington Post recently that ISIS is coming in and they're treating people so brutally that people actually long for the rule of the Taliban. Yeah. Um, and Taliban is making a comeback. And this is all as a result of the U.S. withdrawal or drawdown. Um, is Afghanistan going to become the next Iraq? Um, you know, the administration, I think, saw a little bit of the handwriting on the wall. Um, certainly their game plan for both places was based upon electoral promises and the electoral calendar in North America, not, a, not on any Southwest or Central Asian ground realities, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, and so we, we had this drive to zero in Iraq, and I, I don't think any sentient human being now could think that the right number of residual American forces in Iraq was zero, mm -hmm. given what's happened there. The administration has gone to school a bit on it, but it still had this internal conflict mark where, where you've, you've got this electoral promise push to get as close to zero as possible. But now the reality is such on the ground that I think even the administration recognizes zero is not, not the right number. Mm -hmm. That said, the earlier withdrawals were not conditions-based. They were calendar-based, yeah. and we're now living with the consequences of, of that decision process. Yeah. You know, we say, we talk about cycles, but it, it seems like Afghanistan, we're now in the third repeat of a cycle. So, I mean, we had the uh, the, yeah. the Reagan administration, you know, help the, uh, the Mujahideen yeah. fight, uh, drive the Soviets out. As soon as the Soviets were gone, yeah, one we and said, done. you know, one yeah. and done, we're, this is not our problem anymore. And they, yeah. let, you know, they, uh, they let it happen. Uh, they let Afghanistan fall apart, and the result was 9-11 and, and, uh, and al-Qaeda coming in at 9-11. And now we're repeating history again. Yeah. We're drawing down and yeah, we're going to let so. them come back well, in. No, the counter argument is the forever war argument. You know, can we, can we, can we do this forever? You know, I, it depends on what you mean by this. All right? I mean, you've bought things with blood and treasure. You really don't want to easily give them up. Um, Hussein Akhani, the former Pakistani ambassador to the United States, actually a good friend of America and actually a very, very knowledgeable guy. He had a great phrase that asked me a year or two ago, Mark. He said, you know, you Americans don't lose wars. You just lose interest.